Eagles safety Demar Hamlin, who suffered cardiac arrest on the field. The spotlight has been put on athletic trainers. In our state, a hockey player was recently rushed to the hospital after his neck was sliced by a skate. In both situations, if it weren't for athletic trainers, the situations could have ended much worse. Channel 3's Brian Reed takes us to Sacred Heart tonight. They prefer to stay behind the scenes, preventing major injuries. What most people see is exactly as you said, us taping ankles or handing out ice bags or um, doing things like that. But one of our domains is actually critical incident management. But this week, athletic trainers have been the top story, saving lives in football and hockey. On Thursday, Army hockey forward Eric Huss was sliced in the neck with a skate while playing Sacred Heart. Stephanie Kleins is the director of their training program. In an incident like this, when we're talking about, you know, potential bleeding, you know, being able to, as you said, you know, compress that wound, slow that blood flow uh, down and then be able to get them, you know, to the next level of care is the most important piece. Klein says in critical situations, their adrenaline gets pumping and instinct kicks in. She says major injuries to this magnitude are rare, but as first responders on the field, ice and court, they must prepare for them. Just like with what happened in the Bills game when DeMar Hamlin needed CPR after cardiac arrest. She says that's the importance of continued training and a plan. We have an appropriate protocol established so that when these incidents do happen, uh, we can essentially have controlled chaos as opposed to just chaos in, in that moment. Klein says it's not until after they've heard a player is okay that they'll sit back and reflect on the good they've just done. Bryant Reed, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. And we